Hey guys, it's Destry. Welcome back to my yard. Today I am doing a unboxing of all tulip bulbs. So stick around for the video and I'll show you all these amazing tulips. So I am hanging out in my greenhouse this morning and I'm ready to talk tulips. I just got this box in the mail and this is something I've been waiting for for months because it actually has been months. So last spring my family and I went to the Wooden, um, tulip, show, wooden tulip Shoe Festival. <laughs> um, it is here in Oregon where I live, um, just a little bit north of us and you can basically, it feels like you're in Holland. Like, I'll try to find some pictures and put them on the screen for you, but you walk through these fields of tulips, everything's very, you know, Dutch inspired, and they actually have people there carving wooden shoes. Like, it's just the most amazing thing. Um, it was the first time I had gone with my kids last year, and we had so much fun that, of course, right afterwards, um, I was looking at their catalog and wanted to place an order for tulips so that I could enjoy tulips in my yard and bring some of that festival back here um, to, to my yard and to my space. So using their catalog, I went ahead and placed my order um, and I'm very excited to share with you the different kinds that I got. So uh, the first one that I got is called a Blushing Lady. So here it is, the Blushing Lady. And it says that it has single late tulips, late season bloom, pale yellow with a pink flame. So I'm excited to have those. Um, next up is the Purple Dream. And this one says that it is a lily flowered tulip, um, mid late season bloom, height is 20 inches, purple with a white base. So that'll be really beautiful. Next, we have Design Impression, which um, those of you that don't know, I actually am an art teacher. So the fact that I had the word design and impression, like impressionism, I was hooked. Um, so here's this one. And then this says it's a Darwin hybrid tulip, mid-season bloom, height is 22 inches, pink flushed with salmon. So that'll be pretty. And then my last one, which you can see I got quite a few of each of these varieties. Um, this is the Dutch Dancer. So this one says that it's a li lily, lily flowered tulip. I believe that means it kind of is like more pointy. Again, I'm gonna try to find pictures of all of these for you. Uh, mid late season bloom, height is 18 inches, orange with vermilion. So that is what I got you guys. And I am so excited to try these. Now this came, um, my box came with a handy little brochure and kind of a nice surprise um, is half off my entrance to the Tulip Festival next year. So definitely worth the purchase. Um, I can't wait to get these in the ground and you know see what they do next spring. Um, I'm super excited for all the color that they're gonna bring into my space. So I thought I'd share just a couple things on this guide under um, basic care I thought were kind of interesting. It says fertilize with granular bulb fertilizer in the late winter. Liquid fertilizer may be used on the leaves when the bulbs are blooming. When the flower has died, snap off the seed pod. This allows the nutrients of the stem and the leaves to return to the bulb. The leaves and stem need to stay untouched until they are brown. Plant in well-drained locations in the summer. Try to water once a week or less. Digging. Bulbs need to be dug every two to five years. Did not know that. Dig in early summer after the foliage has died. Bulbs can be planted back in the ground immediately or stored in a cool, dry place until fall. Bulbs are always alive, so store in a well-ventilated container in a place that does not exceed 80 degrees. If you have a lot of leaves and small flowers, it is time to dig and spread out your bulbs so they can have enough space to produce a flower. I thought that was really interesting. I didn't know that about tulips. Um, 
And of course it has some other planting instructions, but I just wanted to share that bit of information. Um, I thought that was really helpful and I definitely learned something from that. Well guys, that's gonna be it for my tulip haul. I can't wait to um, get these in the ground. Like I said, I definitely will be filming that process. I need to decide where they're all gonna go, but I definitely think I'm gonna keep um, the groupings of them together so that I really get a beautiful show of the specific kinds rather than like mixing them together in the same bed. So I know that, but I just need to work on some placement for where I'm gonna put them. So um, I may have been a little overzealous in my ordering <laughs> because I have lots of bulbs to plant. <laughs> anyway, wish me luck with that part. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching this video today. If you liked it, if you could please like and subscribe uh, to my channel, um, Oregon Yardening, I would really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching. And if you need me, I'll be hanging out in the yard. See you later. Bye.